Hi, my name is Eric Walker. I'm a graduate student at the University of Texas at Dallas, and we're here at Monaghan Sand Hill State Park in West Texas, where we can see wind at work. Texas can be a very windy place. Its landscapes in the past have been shaped by wind, and its future in many ways belongs to wind. The portion of the South Central United States occupied by the states of Texas and Oklahoma spans a region with tremendous differences in rainfall and vegetation. From dense forest and 50 inches of annual rainfall in the east, to desert with 10 inches of rain in the west. The dry west is also the windiest part of these states. The dry and windy conditions of West Texas and Oklahoma are perfect for making sand dunes and dune fields. There are many dune fields in the western parts of the Great Plains. Monahans in West Texas is the southernmost of these dune fields. You can find the Monahan dune fields easily on Google Earth, where it is about four miles long and a couple of miles across. Sand is not the only thing that the wind of West Texas and Oklahoma is moving. It is also moving electricity-generating wind turbines. The world needs new sources of clean, renewable energy, and the rapid increase in wind-generated electricity is helping to meet this demand. The windy western plains of Texas and Oklahoma and other states is home to increasing numbers of wind farms. Texas is by far the leader in the United States electricity production by wind, with Iowa in second place and Oklahoma in third. Wind energy production is rising rapidly in both Texas and Oklahoma. In 2019, Wind provides 16% of Texas electricity and almost one-third of Oklahoma electricity. This renewable source of energy is rapidly increasing in both states. In April, we visited Monaghan Sand Hills State Park to capture some of it on film. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our short video on Windy, Texas. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the staff at Monaghan's Sand Hills State Park for treating us so kindly and letting us spend an afternoon filming on site. Then I also wanted to give a thank you to AGU. Without your support, these kind of projects wouldn't be possible. So stick around for a few more minutes and you can see how we celebrated AGU's 100th birthday here at UTD.
<laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 